My name is uh, James Irwin. I'm a cardiologist and an electrophysiologist at St. Joseph's Hospital. Atrial fibrillation is an abnormal heart rhythm where the top chamber, instead of squeezing normally to the bottom chamber, acting as a booster pump, it sits there and quivers. The top chamber is actually beating at about 350 beats a minute. It's a very common rhythm. Now, the problem with atrial fibrillation is several. One is you lose this bump booster pump effect. It's like taking the carburetor off your car. And unfortunately, the heart doesn't have fuel injection. Uh, the other issues with atrial fibrillation is because this top chamber isn't squeezing normally, blood can stagnate in the nooks and crannies, and so it does increase the risk of stroke. Another problem with atrial fibrillation is because of the rapid rate, most patients feel like a fish flopping around in their chest. And when they go to exert themselves, their heart rate zooms up, and as a result, they have shortness of breath. The final issue with atrial fibrillation is if a patient has atrial fibrillation and it's rapidly conducting to the bottom chamber such that their pulse is 120 or 130 or 140 beats a minute constantly, over time they can damage the heart muscle. That can be corrected if the atrial fibrillation is corrected quickly. But if left unchecked, they can eventually develop a cardiomyopathy or a weak heart muscle uh, where the heart muscle doesn't squeeze as well anymore. And that's a real problem. So atrial fibrillation is very common, has a lot of symptoms, a lot of problems. The important thing to remember is it's fixable these days. We started cryo um, before anyone else. It was originally designed to treat rhythms around the AV node without the risk of heart block. Um, we were the first to actually use it in the pulmonary veins to fix atrial fibrillation. Because we were the first in the nation to use cryo for atrial fibrillation, we were invited into the first clinical trials uh, called the Arctic Circler. Um, it was us, Mass General, in Colorado. Uh, we were the lead enroller. Um, after the Arctic Circler phase one clinical trials, they discovered the cryo balloon. Um, because the cryo balloon was better than the Arctic Circler, we were one of uh, three centers in the U.S. to start the phase one clinical trials. It was us, Mass General, and Mayo. We were the largest enroller in the phase two clinical trial. We were the lead enroller in the phase three, and since market release three years ago, we've done over 900 patients with a cryo balloon. We are the leading cryo balloon ablation center in the United States. I have had patients referred as far away as Israel, the Virgin Islands, San Francisco. In addition, we're part of the training centers. I've had physicians from around the country and world come to St. Joseph's Hospital. I had three physicians from Shanghai, China come to learn cryo balloon here at St. Joseph's. So it's that cutting edge mentality. It's the leading enroller. It's the education, it's the training, is where our reputations have come from.